it's really important to know how much of each cation is in your samples. One way is through precipitation reactions. Knowing what precipitates what is handy if you're trying to isolate a particular ion. Moore's method is one such technique. Say you're at a restaurant and you feel like that your soup is too salty. If we can titrate out the chloride ion with a known concentration of silver ions to produce a precipitate, then we can effectively determine the amount of salt in the sample. Unfortunately, trying to figure out when you have precipitated all of your chlorides out of the solution is challenging since it's very easy to put excess silver. So to combat this, we also use chromate or thiocyanate ions to help us determine when the endpoint is reached because any excess silver ions will form a colored precipitate in comparison to the precipitate formed with the chloride ions. This poses another problem as the endpoint is now based on using excess titrant to achieve a color change. This however is fixed by doing a blank titration involving your indicator such as chromate to determine what volume is actually required to produce a precipitate. So your soup's too salty, so you take out a 20 ml sample of it and dilute it to 100 ml. We'll put that to the side. In your bag you take out your titration equipment and prepare 25 ml samples of the soup. This is titrated against a 0.12 mol per litre of silver nitrate solution with a few drops of chromate indicator in your analyte and required an average of 24.5 ml to reach the end point. So this is where the blank titration comes in. How do you know when you've precipitated out all of your chloride ions? The presence of an orange brown precipitate should have formed between the chromate and the silver ions. So by conducting a blank titration with the sample of chloride ions in your chromate indicator, it will give you the volume required for this to actually occur. In this case, we'll say it's about 0.6 ml. And if it required 24 ml of silver nitrate to precipitate out the chloride ions, we must subtract the volume used in the blank titration from the endpoint. So the actual volume required is 23.9 ml. Might as well continue calculating. So the moles of precipitate produced uses N equals CV. Volume times concentration giving us this, which is also the amount of silver ions used. Therefore, the moles of silver chloride produced is also this, as it's in a one-to-one -one ratio. Now, the actual moles in the original sample needs to be multiplied by four, since we only used 25% of the original sample. And now we can convert the moles into mass. Moles times molar mass. This is a mass. Now, the original samples before dilution was 20 ml, so by dividing it by 0.02 litres will give it to us in grams per litre. I actually wouldn't know if the concentration is too salty for soup. It's worth noting that the pH of your sample should be between 6 to 9 because a higher pH may result in the precipitation of silver hydroxide. Lower pHs can also cause the protonation of chromic ions, leading to the formation of the weak acid chromic acid. This means there's less chromic ions in solution to precipitate with silver ions. Mm -hmm.